Warning. What you are about to hear goes against traditional romantic counsel expressed by friends, family, and Instagram memes and quotes. Open-mindedness is advised. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and welcome to another edition of the Senate Podcast. I'm your host, Neil. Join us always, but my brother from another mother, are your host, Derek. Heal, heal, heal. Uh, we are bringing you another edition of the Senate Podcast. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Remember to like the content, share the content so we could build the content. Anyhow. Now, here's the thing, Neil. We know the data is showing. Women initiate divorces 70 to 80 percent of the time, right? Mm -hmm. And the more education I have is showing that they, they, it goes up to like nearly 90 percent. Mm -hmm. So imagine this, right? In the dating phase, women are charged, are willing to charge up to three thousand dollars for being cheated on and that kind of thing, or being ghosted, etc. But in the marriage phase, a woman can walk away from the relationship. And get cash up prices going through the door too. <laughs> they got my girl, he bought a boot, man. Cash up prices, consolation but, prices. Yeah, but big, <laughs> Come but on down. The, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> they got the real legend, though. They got the real legend. I cry for Kibi, man. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They got yeah, the yeah. real legend, yeah. right? But, you know, when it comes to the dating thing, like we, we, we really got to be mindful of the fact that we are social beings, right? We are social beings. I'm not saying to you to entertain somebody that you do not like. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to you to entertain somebody who is mistreating you or, you know, being abusive or whatever. I'm not saying that. But when you approach a relationship with the mindset of essentially, let me get where you could get here, that is a problem. Right, and to show y'all, I have put together a video for you guys, and uh, we can have a watch of that video right now. Dating is easy for men. Do not go on that coffee date. Do not go on that boba date. Do not go meet that man for drinks. This man saw you, and his first initial thought wasn't, "Wow, I'd really love to get to know her over some dinner and a nice ambiance." He looked at you and said, "Duncan, Starbucks." The amount of messages that I get from men that ask me if I like coffee. No, bitch, I don't like coffee. I actually hate it. How would you rock? Dating is easy for men. Like if that. I pay, if I pay for half the meal, nigga, you not getting no pussy. I don't give a fuck. Yes, I, I heard this 50, one thing 50? from a nigga, okay? And it will never leave my fucking mind. Whether it's Valentine's Day or any day, this nigga told me that the word dates mean dick at the end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! My, 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 my nigga! My nigga! My nigga! My nigga! No! No, it don't! Shout out to Naldo for that shit! No, you can't make this shit up. Dating is easy for men. Part two, we're saying no to coffee dates. We're saying no to buffer dates. We're saying no to walks in the park. We're saying no to all of that low effort, low intentional, low frequency bullshit. And I'm about to tell you why. A date is a decision. The type of date reflects the type of decision maker. A good decision maker takes an action that has the best possible outcome for themselves and others. A good decision maker has an open mind and a good decision maker does not allow his personal bias to impact his decision. A good decision maker thinks rationally, weighs the alternatives and understand consequences. Walks in a park, coffee, buffer dates are all signs that a man is not a good decision maker. Let me pause. Let me pause. I won't pause. We can pause. Right. This, this what it says. We can pause. I pause. Oh, I love Derek. We can pause. We can pause. I love it. This woman now went through the list of a good decision maker. Don't let your biases come into it. Your mom must know how to do things and this and that to the next and the third. Right? So, when he says, 
let us go to a co- let's go on a coffee date or let's go for a walk in the park. That is him making a sound decision. It means that he does not know about you enough to carry you for no date to spend a bail or money. But let me see if you got a good head on your shoulders. Let's go somewhere where we can talk. I need to see if you can eat. I know that you can eat, but you're dead. You can hold a knife on for it. But let's see. Over, it's not really about coffee or the walk, you know. You know, I've just got, had a song. Let's take a long walk. Remember, that was it. a big They don't get it. They don't, they don't, they don't get, get it. it. So I understand you won't eat, right? You're licorice. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> but a man saying that he's not going to carry, that a man saying that he's going to carry you on a coffee day or ask you to a coffee day or ask you for a walk in the park, that is him making a good decision. Because I can yeah. just speak it, I can just explain it to you. The man don't know about spending big money for you. The man ain't sure if he can get yeah. used or not. Exactly. He doesn't know who you are. He wants to make a sound investment first and then we can go forward past that. So we see the shaman. We see, we, go, we, oh, we understand. You try to get the food. You lick Chris. You try, because <laughs> you look kind of malnourished. You're trying to eat. Yeah, yeah, so belly, belly, you, you, you can share any man and say, yeah, you're a leader. You're a good decision maker. You can imagine you're not a good decision uh, maker. So you're going to not care about the woman to eat. Sounds no. like a solid decision to me. No, no, you're risking. That's double thought for feed me. Anyhow, yeah. let's continue. Dating is easy for men. What's the oldest guy that you would date? Without money? 31. With money? 57. Trash, trouble, and trifling. That's what she is. Dating is easy for men. Hey, you guys, I'm about to go on a date. I'm a little early, so I'm going to take this time to tell you ladies why getting a drink or getting coffee with a guy is an unacceptable first date. This has always been my dating standard, and I always have men who ask me why it's not acceptable. Blah, blah, blah. The guys that get it, get it, and the guys that don't, don't. First of all, this is the question I want to ask men. Would you take your celebrity crush to go get coffee or get drinks? Yes. Mm, granted, I'm not your celebrity crush. I want to be thought of as your dream girl, someone you hold in high regards. You doing the bare minimum by taking me to Starbucks or to the local bar does not make me feel special. Number two, it's giving bare minimum. Like, that's what I think I'm going to expect from you in a relationship. You taking me to go get coffee or get drinks doesn't require any thought, any planning, and we can do that on a whim. Furthermore, um, you taking me to get drinks makes me feel like you want to get me loose, and I'm definitely not about that. Lastly, sharing a meal with someone allows you to see their etiquette, their mannerisms, the way they treat a server. It really allows you to read into a lot about a person. So I think that's vital to just have dinner with someone. Plus, food is the basis of relationships. It's just what you do with people. Like, you eat food together. It bonds you. And so, yeah, can't give me the courtesy of buying me dinner. I definitely can't expect you to buy me anything. So, ladies, next time a dusty, rusty, brokey guy tries to get you to go get coffee or get drinks, decline him respectfully. Something is wrong here. Ladies, I meant to. Let me, let, me, let me stop this practice of, I understand you're driving, your brain open, you want to turn on record and talk the things, right? Stop doing that. And ladies, see this here? <laughs> that is not sexy. That, that don't speak wife to us, men. It doesn't. Anyhow, she ain't begging for dick. She begging for dick. For, no, no, no. She begging for food, brother. She begging I'm, for food. If it's shame, let me shame. If it's shame, yeah. let us shame. If you're going to shame a man into doing what you want when it comes to dating, knowing that men control access to relationships, let us start shaming. When I want food, so when I'm hungry, that's all I'm going to do. When I want to eat, I'm not going to want to eat cheap neither. Because none of them don't. When I want to go, pun. Girl dates or friend dates or whatever. When I get any restaurants, you want me carrying into, right? Talking about you don't want to get a drinks because you don't want to get loose. When you get up to the club with you girls and drink sharing, that all right? That's friends, friends and family, right? I have a problem with you, and this goes back to what we said earlier in this podcast, in this podcast history. You telling a man how to do his job. You telling a man when I don't want to approach the man, when I don't want to initiate relationships, when I don't want to initiate marriage, but you telling a man how to ask you out and where to take you under the guise of standard, and you are saying that the reason why it shows that you got money to spend, but that's you, all you're doing is showing me you about you about money and things. You are not about getting to know me. You're not about being my wife. You're about living. 
and spending and consuming. You are nothing but a locust. You're yeah, a locust. Okay. You're a locust who's one of the plagues of God <laughs> set upon the earth in Egypt. That's what you are. You come to oh, eat out my crops. Plague. She's a plague. She's a blight. <laughs> but I'm not, what blight does do to cotton? What blight does do to, what does blight do to cotton? You are a blight. You are coming to humbug my life. I'll say this, Neil. Um, I think, I think that's part of the problem. When you said he want to dictate how a man's supposed to do his job. That's the problem. The, the, the buyers cross now. So everybody, people don't understand, but yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it. And this way supposed to, this is what he's supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. That's one. And two, I think part of the reason to, and it clicked there, somebody was like, ladies, this is sexy, right? And she said it, you know, you're not going to step to your celebrity crush with a coffee date. All right. But the same token, if it was her celebrity crush, she would accept a coffee date. And look, if it was Michael right? B. Jordan, she would take anything, anything, yeah. anything, because she know he she, got it. She could take that walk in the park, right? So what's happening is men are making an assessment. The lady in the very first clip said it. He looked at you and he saw Starbucks or whatever. Maybe he's like, you know what? I might look at you and might think you deserve champers, but you know what? I don't want old champers money upon the first. The man could possibly think that, you know, a big day is moving too fast. Or the woman might think so too. So let me let me start with a little drink, a little coffee, see how it work out. And then we can move forward to let me out some money here and spend 500 in that champers. But a man I don't want to spend 500 in that champers than to get a ghost. Yes, this is upsetting because we don't want men to lead. We don't want men to take initiative. We don't want men to make sound decisions. We don't want men to do. Don't talk, do. You want a man to ask when to out. We ask him when to out, but when to vet, we how we go about doing our vetting process. Nobody can rush when a brush when it comes to vetting somebody. Even they don't want to free up the poom, when they're freeing up the poom. Hmm? If we don't want, shoot, we covered it on this in this space too. 90 days, someone wanted to say. When I don't get up on the first day, all sorts of requirements we put, man, that's fine. That's your standard. That is fine. You control access to sex. But understand that I control access to relationships. And relationships are wrapped up in the four P's. And one of those P's is provision. And problem solving is another one. So my provision will only be covered under a relationship. And my problem solving is that I am going to vet you before I spend money on you. Right? You made a, a, there's a, there's a point there she made just now, right? She was saying celebrity crush. Right? First things first, if my celebrity crush came along, I would tell her, I would let's go on a coffee date. Because it's the same process. It's the same See thing. You. See a woman. It's the same thing. And two, it speaks to the delusion of you, my young lady, because you believe you are a celebrity. You are on the same level as a celebrity crush, meaning that you got fame, clout, money, all types of thing. No. And I'm tired of this rhetoric of, I want a man. And the man must do X. I am not settling for Y. And encouraging other women to say, I am not going on a coffee day. I ain't going to put a watch on name Because I, I, see, I see so many women saying it. Some of the best dates I ever had, no money in Spain. At least no money on like food or anything like that. Yeah, you might buy a little wine or you might go someplace and thing, right? The best dates I have had. I remember there was a first date I had with a woman many years ago. We went to the movies. You can't really talk during the movies, but we went to the movies. Afterward, we came back to my house on my nice patio and we spoke under the stars. We just talked, nothing intimate, nothing like that. We had a very good three to four hour conversation. So when I could come with the standards, demand I carry you QP Bistro. Demand I carry you to the cliff and champers. Demand that I drive a particular car and I dress a particular kind of way. Demand. That's no problem. But you just ain't gonna find the man you want. You gonna find a man that got means that was spending money to hit and quit. That's what you're gonna find. Gosh. That's what you are going to find. So keep it up. Keep going. It's going, brother. Let's get it. Dating is easy for men. Dates that will not be going on in 2023. Tell us Starting off strong, we have to come over to my place and watch a movie. Absolutely not, sir. You could be the next Jeffrey Dahmer. Next, we have the let's grab a coffee. This guy is literally just speed dating. No, thank you. Let's get ice cream. This is literally just a coffee date, but with a nice pretty bow on top. 
Next we have the where do you want to go? This guy's probably a loser and expects you to plan the first date. Absolutely not. Let me see you this weekend. This date has absolutely no context nor commitment and no date has been established. So therefore, no thank you. And last but certainly not least, we have let's go for a walk. Sir, I am not a dog. Thank you. Dating is easy for men. I am so glad that you asked. I do not want to go on a date where we have that conversation of going 50-50. Absolutely not. I cannot hear. Next, I don't want to go on a date where there's no roses in the passenger seat. Oh, roses Jesus are Christ. like $15, and I've gotten used to this lifestyle. I can't live without it. I cannot go on a date where they ask, what do you bring to the table, especially when you're literally looking at the table? Hello. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. Pop, 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 pop. Pause the video. Pause the video. <laughs> you don't want a man that goes 50-50. You don't want that. But when you get in a relationship with a man, it is a partnership. He ain't leading. He ain't making decisions. You see how that's worked, Derek? You want me to lead. You want me to pay for everything. I am picking you up at 7 o'clock. We're going to dinner. Let's go. I pick you up. We're not going on a walk. We're going to Champers. I pick you. We're going to Champers. I am going to buy you roses. I buy you roses. Right? I can pay for your hair. I can pay for your nails. I'm doing all of that. Right? But then when it comes to me buying a house or buying a car to put we in as a family, it is, oh, no, no, no. We got to make this decision because it's 50-50. As a matter of fact, I'll do you one better, Neil. I'll do you one better. I got to do all of that. You got to buy the roses and stuff like that. You don't want 50-50, blah, blah, blah. But when the relationship done, you want left. You get in. You, you can't, you can't mean. You, court you can't 50-50, though. It's 50-50. Yeah, or more. Yeah, or to more. her. Right. Yeah. Sure, mm. don't make a hot, hot graph for keeping man. The roses thing is just delusion. It's just delusion. Right? But ladies, do not see this on Instagram. I get this like some tower. Yes, I'll put this on the group chat. Because if you put it in the group chat, look at who's saying yes. They either got a man and happy, and the man they had to do half of them things, or the single and miserable and we're going for Galentine's dates. Anyhow, let me press on. Yeah. Dating is easy for men. Baby, this slow, not for me. I'm single. You did. Holes in this that house. is not just hey, me. Just... Sorry, Paul, Paul, sorry. What would the caption just say? If you take him out to eat what? Yeah, it doesn't mean that you might be carrying me out and doing things, buying me stuff and all that, but it doesn't mean that we're in a relationship. What are you going here? Yeah, she's still single, essentially. You, you mm. can do all them things, but she's still single. Let me, let me go on. So then why are, so why pay? That is like me, that's, you leasing somebody. That is like, you yeah. buy a cow, you buy a cow, you can milk it. You can't get in a car from it. You ain't eating the grass to, to maintain your property. You can't even get a piece of beef off for it. You just got the cow there in the grass just deciding what you want to do. Just shifting up your yard. That's all it's doing. Much. That's all it's doing. <laughs> Let me go on here. So I want to talk about something that's been really, really annoying me lately. This is going to be it's about men, but single mom version. So something that's been getting under my skin is men not understanding what it means to be a single mom. So as a single mom, a single working mom, I have my plate full to the maximum, right? I don't have free time. The time that I do have free, I just want to relax. So one, I get it. I'm single. Yes. Do I want to date? Sure. If I meet the right person, right? But if you invite me out for a dinner um, or drinks, especially during the weeknight, come on. You know I have things to do. I'm sure you have things to do the next day. I have a child to take care of. I can't just go out late at night just whenever, right? Um, so you have to take that into consideration. So if you're really going to invite me out, one, make it worth my time. And what do I mean by make it worth my time? Joe's, just don't invite me out to dinner and drinks. Get creative. Invite me out for an activity. 
do something different, do something that's going to be worth my time and effort. I am taking time out of my evening to meet with you, to go and enjoy your company, you know, to see how things work. If we're compatible, I'm making an effort. So I expect you to make an effort. So don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. Also, and offer to pay for the babysitter. That's going to make me more receptive to want to go and spend my time with you. And another thing, do not just assume that you can invite me and my daughter out. No, I do not introduce my daughter to guys. That's a no-no. So there's that. And also, don't just assume that you're going to invite me out for drinks and I'm going to show up. Um, what makes you think that I'm going to put my safety in jeopardy by drinking and driving. So unless you're gonna offer to pick me up and drop me off or Uber me there and back, it's a no on the drinks during the week. So moral of the story is, come on guys, if she's a single mom, she already has a lot on her plate. So don't add to her plate. Don't make her life more stressful. Don't make her plan out the date that you wanna take her on. Like that's not gonna happen. So all I'm gonna say is, do better and to everyone asking me out oh, on freaking dates lately literally if the shoe fits then it fits okay that's all i gotta say this bitch this bitch pause pause the mother some video pause it this is why the late great kevin samuel says do not date single mothers this is why a lot of men are saying do not date single mothers by a single mother's own admission, she got a lot going on. Her plate is full, uh -huh. right? Do not assume that you can invite me to drinks and they can turn up. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> don't invite you to ask me. I got a car for you, right? I got to send a car for you. Huh? Pay for the babysitter. Another man deal with, right? Good, right? This woman got the audacity to say that she is going to take the time and effort out of her day, her time. To come and get to know you better and enjoy your company. But she's not doing it under certain specifications. It don't matter if it be good if you're trying to enjoy my company and get to know me better. It matters not where we go. So then if it don't matter where I go. and you plan an activity, man. <laughs> right. Like, like kayaking. If you have a, a, another man's child, you already behind the air boss history. That's number one. And number two, you're going to come and demand that demand plan an activity you might not show up don't just send a thing and you gotta pay for the babysitter nothing good comes from when you talk shit in a car you know nothing. nothing when you sit down in a car and you just air you about man or woman and every time you go hit record up on a button you could just have the brain fart and just let her go into the ether shoot put it in the group chat call you girls send a little idea to the man that thing and let her float around there swirl yeah, around yeah. the toilet bowl and Everything be good. But do not come from the people internet as a single mother with another man's child and then say something like, you am, you, who's to say I can show up? I'm trying to get to know you better. The man already is going to be on his guard saying, you know what? She got another man's child. So before I take this woman and this other man's child, let me get to know this woman and see where her head is at. Right? So let me carry her on a walk. Let me carry her for drinks. Let me carry her for coffee. Nah, that ain't good enough. Carry me for food. Take me out to eat. What? No, Going no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We must plan an event. So she didn't even walk on a dinner date. Not every single mother is going to be no. a terrible situation. No. But when you got these kind of situations where the entitlement up to all, it makes it bad for other reasonable people. Because, let me be real, some of be raised with stepfathers. So somebody... <laughs> Somebody was in dad that stepped up, you know what I mean? That's what it goes. Well, I, I despise you sometimes here. <laughs> you just know how to push the buttons. I hate you for that there. Jesus. Somebody was in dad that uh, stepped up. You know what I mean? So it happens, right? It happens. And you cannot de you cannot, you know, deny or don't play or minimize that contribution. You can't. Right? But when you see stuff like this, people are saying, you know what? Well, just didn't work with squeeze. We did, we covered, I think it was, it was a short or a fast submission night where a woman was in the relationship with a man and he told him broke up. Why? Four day in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning, he carried alarm, gone off. I mean, he gone out, gone to his garage, 
baby daddy is Safe. siphoning gas <laughs> from his <laughs> is her baby daddy is siphoning gas from his vehicle so the man like you know the man this the man they kick out the fuss you better let me gas and he let, he let she go along through the door too she and she tried to go along yeah just keep, with that yeah, because yeah. clearly that is too much drama yeah, yeah, swirling yeah. around that situation <laughs> Yeah. You know, I'm, I don't want to go deep with that. It's yeah, one dope. thing. To, and then you talk about legacy and stuff like that. You know, people that say, oh, um, when the men are going to money and a status, so they're in a legacy. But you talk about it when you say, look, it ain't just a, a money legacy. It ain't just a, a, a reputation legacy. When you talk about legacy, you know, you're talking about health problems and stuff like that. I come and take on a child that's not mine. Can't get the doctor and sign for nothing. One. Two, Sanger around here can't contribute, I can't get a blood for he know or nothing. So, is there a history of diabetes for he? Not for me. I ain't got none. Your mother ain't got none, but your father got it, you know? So, all of these things are the things that people do not really think about when they start talking about, uh, when, uh, when they're asking a man to come in and take up the responsibility of raising somebody else's child. Nobody don't really look at that. Yeah. Anyhow, let me go far. Let, let, me, let me go far. You enjoy this now. This is great. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're loving it, man. Anyhow, uh, let's get it. Dating is easy for men. Listen, I've been finessed enough times in my life that I've taken these dinners like a loser. I'm going out like a loser, taking you, you to what, 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 what? Name a restaurant. I bet you I've been there. Name it. I've been there. Name a high expensive one. Been there. So I set some money around him. Nothing! This is so fucking hurtful. Dating is easy for men. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen. Right? <laughs> brilliant, brilliant edit, brilliant edit. Brilliant edit, brother. Uh, <laughs> listen, I know it's not all women. I know it's a very small subset of women. I understand that. But as we were told in season one, show out season one. I don't even season know what season one. we all know because I think it's time for season three. But anyhow, early on in the show, we were told that language matters. Mm -hmm. And we know how the social media game goes. You see a woman in a car talking a bunch <laughs> of drivel, right? And you say, yes, you share it on your social media platform of choice. And your girls rally around you and say, yes. And then you all got some warped sense of entitlement. That the next man that comes along, whether you're a single mother or not, that certain things got to play out. I know everybody says, oh, but this is just shits and giggles, oh, kiki, ki, ha, ha. But you don't got single mothers now out there say that no one normally think like this. I'll say, yeah, well, shoot, if you want to carry me out, I am the prize. You want to get to know me better? You got to plan an event. You got to make it worth my while. And we have been doing this content so long, Derek. I know when the okie doke coming. You can hear it. You set up. You hear that woman. You sing a mother talk, right? You're like, yeah. Who you setting up here? You set up something. Here you start with the shaming language. Come, you have to understand that single mothers have a lot on their plate. We have a Actually, lot going we don't, on. You don't. You, you don't, don't what? You don't have to understand that. As I said in the monologue, dating is not an obligation, you know. You don't yes. have to date. Yeah. You, don't you are have fat, fat, to date. Fat. If you want to date, fat. you have to make sure that fat. you provide some kind of value to the people that you want to date you. Facts. Yeah? Factual. Facts. Sure. If I want a woman to carry me out, I can't be just let go of myself and decide I'm shaving or I'm cutting my hair and all that. And so I just walk about looking at any old hoe. Smelling nah. any old hoe. Nope. I can't do that. So, dating is not a human right. You ain't a right at all. You, but, you're not but, 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 to date. 
but hold on a minute now, brother. Hold on a minute now. Remember, we did uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Indeed. Right? And there are certain components of dating that you get from dating that are on those needs, sir. Indeed, so, they so, are. So, so for those people that come and say, oh, but you said that sex and emotional intimacy and all of these things are on Maslow's hierarchy of needs as a human being. How come you come now and say that dating is not a human right or need? I ain't saying they need, but it's not a right. Language yeah. matters. So when don't, con- don't let me conflate terms and dipsy through this thing. I tell when it is a non dipsy do the space. And we are going to talk the things raw and regularly. When I want husbands, try and be a wife. You're a single mother. You want to be somebody's wife or you want to get carried out. Thought experiment time. Women, try this approach. If you have so many standards and your price has now exponentially gone up and you're not putting up with certain things, right? How about y'all ask out the man you want? Instead of waiting for men, when I got a problem with decision making, when I have a problem with what we decide as a first date, when I got a problem with how we lead, when I got a problem with how, what we suggest, but why y'all don't just go and say, hi, I like you and I want you. Would you mind going out on a date? Even try this. Be brazen. Be bold. Be a queen with a care. Right? Go up to a man that you see has the, the money and assets around him, the physical looks and prowess that you see. Go up to that man and say, hey, I like you. I'd like to go out with you. Carry me on a date. Any hey, man stupid enough to say, all right, I'll take you up. Let me go down. Well, the two in the suit. You have found your match. But stop expecting men to lead how they see fit to lead when it comes to dating. And be vexed at their choices and shaming them for their decisions and making it seem like they cannot lead. If you are a woman that you have standards and you do not want to settle, so be it. But when you realize you're having problems getting the man that you want, Try the tactic of being a man. You're already in your pseudo-masculinity. Go up to the man and ask him out on a date. Tell him, I want you to pick me up at 8 o'clock by your paying door and then I'll pull for you at the end of the night. If the man agrees to them terms, everybody wins. Everybody wins. But the man asking you, well, he carrying you to coffee and you won't push up. He taking you up, he carry you out. He carry you to champers, but he won't split half. You won't push up. He carry you out, he go to champers, he paying the whole of the bill. But you don't like your car. Just avoid all of that. You ask out the men. You take up the leadership. Do that and see how it works out for you. That ain't the natural order of things. No, so no, 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 no. It, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, brother man. Hold on, brother man. That is what radical feminism has now done. We get rid of the order. Yeah, Everything now, the, the four fifth, four fifth feminism ain't got nothing to do with the order. So we trying to but, we trying to but. Thousands of years of certain ways of doing things. This is a progressive society. And we are now questioning even what it means to be a man or a woman. So therefore, since we forget history and we're doing what we want, you be a trailblazer, ladies. You be the pioneer. Be the Rosa Parks of dating. You know what I'm saying? Ask out the man on a date. Set your terms and conditions up front. If the man agrees to it, you have won. You have found your husband. Shoot, you could put a timetable and tell him I'm meant to propose to you too. You but set the, the terms. But, but you can't they may proposing, so but you cannot expect to, to want a man to set terms and conditions and be vexed with the terms and conditions. A shame in the mouth. That's like that's like you buy a, you 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 sign up to uh, for a new cell phone service. Flow you the terms and conditions. You read the terms and conditions. What is this shit here? What's this here? What's this here? I sign up for this here. Does that make sense? And then you go on social media and blast them for them terms and conditions. You shame them for their terms and conditions. And then they turn around and say, I'm looking for a service provider. But these are my terms and conditions. <laughs> so you said, so you shame in floor. You go to Digicel and Digicel say, all right, uh, you want to send it to us? He said, no, no, I don't want your terms and conditions. Reword that. My head. Reword that. My head. Yeah, yeah, look at there. Reword that. And then I will sign on your dotted line. Yeah. Then let me don't make up the rules. We just make sure you know what they are. Be the best version of you for you. And of course, please remember, you can ignore reality all you want. You cannot ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. Please remember, as you go into these dating streets, the contaminated environment. In the two tools about that. 